this let's create an hibernate application so we'll create an application inside a java perspective right now so just create a new java project let's give the name as hibernate practical next finish so you'll see this hibernate practical has been created now as this is in hibernate practical we need to just add the jar files related to hibernate framework so just select a configure build path add external jars select all the jar files related to hibernate in addition to that we need a separate jar file for PostgreSQL so I'm selecting a jar file for PostgreSQL also so this is all these jar files have been added let's click OK so you'll see in this reference library all these jar files have been added so now the next step is in the source folder of your Hibernate practical project just create a package com dot let's say mcf finish then one more thing we need to add to this project is a source folder so just give the name as resources finish so you'll see this resources folder when added now in this particular package let's create a persistence class let's give the persistent class name as department so, no need to give public static word main let's click finish so you'll see this dpt id and you can give one more variable as dpt name and generate the getter setters for this source generate getter setters select all click ok so you'll see all this files have, all these getter setters have been generated this is my persistent class next step is we need to add some configurations files in resources folder so I'll just take it from any other project so uh, yes we have this configuration files let's copy this paste it in the resources now see the conventions that we have to give for these XML files this is my habinet.cfg.xml this is ok but the naming conventions for this department.hbm.xml the first name should be of persistent class name only and dot hbm.xml so when you click on this hbm file this should be the name of your first class and this should be the name of a table that you want to create in a table so I'm just giving the name instead of dpt table department table and this is the id it will be a primary key for this particular column and generate a class increment will auto increment that particular uh, column so your dpt name properties if you want some more addition properties you can add a new properties also so this is my configuration files just open this hibernate configuration files when you see this configuration file it has all the things related to your database like this should be in first when you're creating or inserting some records so that time it should be create when you're fetching the records that time it should be a select when updating it should be an update now this is the dialect that we're adding for, for postgres this is the dialect and this is the configuration url that you're giving this is the database name where you're creating this is the username and the password for the postgres and this is the driver name and this is the name that file configuration file that you have to map inside the Hibernate CFG XML. So this is my Hibernate.CFG.XML. Next thing is we need to create a DAO class, which will be a direct access object. So here we want main. Now just start with the package import org dot hibernate org dot hibernate dot cfg begin with the try catch phoenix 
exception comes just handle that exception now just begin with the configuration so configuration create its object cg equals to new configuration then cg dot configure to specify the file name should be in hibernate dot cfg dot xml next we want a session factory session factory equals to cfg dot build session factory then we want a session variable of session equals to c equals to factory dot open session then we want a transaction just calculate this object then session dot we have to just begin the transaction so now next step is create the object for depart persistent class so which equals to new department then add the values for that department as id we have given auto incremented Let's give this as now. Just save this object in a session and commit that transaction. And just close that session. Just give the message if everything over, everything is over, then we'll just save it. Okay. So all the things have been done. Let's execute this. So expected output is a department table should be created along with one record for MCM. So you'll see the message saved successfully. Let's open a Postgres and see whether the table department has been created or not. So this is the Postgres database was Postgres. So the table name was department. We we'll just view that record if it is available or not. So this is the record that we have added. That is an expected output. Thank you.